In this video, I'd like to talk about the Lima Global Tuning Software, designed to transform your MIDI keyboard into any tuning system you can imagine, and how to set it up to use within Cakewalk by BandLab. The Lima Global Tuning System was developed by Kayam Alami, a UK-based multi-instrumentalist and composer. I was made aware of Kayam's innovative software by way of an article in The Wire, thanks to my Song Talk Radio co-host, Michael Proudfoot. Kayam sought to bring non-Western tuning systems to MIDI-based music, which ordinarily is extremely challenging, and the software is 100% free to use even in commercial recordings. Lima Software runs on a website, and I've included the link in the description below. On the first page, you can select a tuning system from the database of African, Indian, Middle Eastern, Oriental, and other systems or create your own tuning system. If you select the Create a New Tuning System option, you're first asked to define a reference pitch. For our purposes, we'll leave it at the default C4 equals 261 Hz, which is the same as the more familiar A4 equals 440. On the next page, you're presented with a bar to define your intervals within the octave. You can easily create your own scale by clicking in the bar. Click to delete a created pitch if you need to change one. On the next page, you assign the new notes to the familiar note names. You can also pick a keyboard controller as your input. I'm using my Akai MPK Mini controller. The sound is played back by an internal synth running on the website. The really cool thing about the software is that you can output it to a hardware synth or a virtual synth on your computer. To do this for a software synth, you'll need a virtual MIDI cable. I'm using the Loop B1 virtual MIDI driver, which is free for personal use. I've included a link in the description below. I'm going to show you how to connect Lima to Cakewalk by BandLab. The process will be similar for any DAW. I've got an existing tuning system loaded in Lima, the African Balafon system, which is interesting because it's an 8-note scale as opposed to our typical Western 7-note scale. Once you've got the virtual MIDI cable installed, you can select it as the output from the Lima system. In Cakewalk, Make sure you've selected the Loop B internal MIDI input. Load a virtual instrument and set its input to the Loop B internal. This means the instrument will receive the MIDI signal direct from Lima. Now, Lima uses programmed pitch bend messages to create the alternate tunings, so you have to be sure the instrument you're using responds to pitch bend commands. Most pianos, for example, won't. I also tried the Spitfire BBC Orchestra, and it didn't either. I think this is normal for many sample-based instruments, but most synthesizers will respond to pitch bend. For example, I have a piano VST loaded here, and it doesn't respond to pitch bends from Lima, or even from my controller's pitch bend. But for a patch loaded in the massive synth, pitch bend commands are received and used. I recorded a very short orchestral piece using the Balafon scale. If we look at the MIDI data, we can see the pitch bend commands inserted by Lima. So if you go in and change notes, it will probably mess it up because the pitch bends won't line up anymore. It's probably better to re-record MIDI straight through Lima using your keyboard controller. Here's the little piece I came up with. 
I use strings from the Native Instruments Contact Factory Library and Sound Iron's Olympus Choir. Just for reference, I also made a copy of the recording but deleted all the pitch bend information, so now it's tuned to a typical Western 12 note equal temperament scale. Here's the result it sounds very different. Be sure to check out Kayam's video demonstrations on how to use his software. I find this really fascinating, and I really like how it takes you out of your learned boxes to find something different when it comes to composition. There's a lot more to explore here, so have fun with it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.